as you'll notice, there's no holes at the top here, so this is not a pass-through connector. So these you have to cut to length to fit inside this RJ45 head. This little piece right here is when you crimp down, that's what's gonna hold the cable in. On that plastic piece, all right? So basically when you stick this in, you want the jacket of the cable to be past that piece. This way when you do your crimp, the plastic presses down on the jacket and it'll hold the 45 in place, not fall off. So that's the purpose of that piece right there. And that's how far your cable should be in at least past that. So your jacket is held in by that little plastic piece there when we crimp it down. Now, since these aren't a pass through, we have to cut them to length. So we have to cut them a size where the jacket will still be past that, but they'll make contact all the way up at the top of the thing, at the uh, top of the uh, 45. So what I like to do is I like to keep them long. You can keep them short if you want. If that's your way to do it, that's fine. There's more than one way to skin a cat. All right, so what I do, so I keep them long, I untwist them, which is always a pain, but it's part of the process. After I untwist them, I just pull them tight to straighten them out a little bit. While Mark's doing that real quick, Victoria, take a look at this, right? Here's another trick too, sometimes, if you don't have long nails or anything like that. Um, some people use it, some people don't. I don't like them that long, I'll tell you that much. But, some people find it's very um, beneficial. You take this jacket, and you can actually go like this. Do, 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 do. Oh, look at that, I've never saw that before. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Serious. Oh my God! See, look at that. See, learn Dude, something new that. every day. So again, Victoria, I don't know if you have. Do you have a good shot at this? Mm -hmm. Just put the old jacket, and I got to be honest. I'm 48, and my eyes just started to turn, so I can't see things that. Did Pete teach you that? No. What, one of the guys <coughs> taught me that. I don't Not particularly it. do that because whatever, mm -hmm. but I just usually just prick it and go like that. And sometimes you can see, you can get that there. Another trick that I usually use is, if I got snips, I'll just kinda, to get that crinkle out of there, I'll just run my scissors. But usually I have a, uh, a screwdriver. Let me see one of your multi-tools. Yeah, that's perfect. I'll find something with like a cylinder, and I'll also do this. And I'll just straighten them out. I don't know if you got a good shot of that. But these twists, um, I'm gonna shut up so that Mark can do it. But again, there's multiple ways. So you can use your jacket and whatever. My fault, no, Jerry, I'm proud. Like I said, there's always more than one way to skin a cat. Yes, sir. So whatever you're comfortable with, it's important that you just know the basics. Yeah. That is the important thing and how yeah. to get it right. All right, so we're gonna do a 568B configuration here. And structured cabling, you got your A and your B, 568A and B. 99% of the time you'll be using B. Even on jacks too. That's correct. You'll very, 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 very rarely use A if at all. The only difference is you would switch the green and the orange around in the color scheme. That's the only difference. So since we're using B, we're gonna start with the orange. White, orange, orange, all right? Next one is white, green. Next one will be solid blue. Next one will be white blue. Next one will be green. White brown. And brown. All right. So no matter what, if you look at it, you're still going to have a striped solid, striped solid, striped solid. The green is split. All right, so that's your configuration. 
And of course, it's also on the internet too, the color combos. It's everywhere, it's on the internet. There it is on my Klein crimper right there. Yeah. I can follow that. Nice. It's right there, it's all there for you. All right, so now, again, this is not a pass-through, so I can't just stick these through, shove it all the way up, and then do it. So I gotta cut them to a certain point. And what you want is about a quarter inch. So what I do is, this is why I keep them long. Now I'll tighten these up right here, right? So now I still got my length, everything good. So what I'll do is I'll just put my fingers there at about the quarter inch length and cut straight across. That's a good technique there. Uh, so they don't go flying. Yes, plus- I, And I was wondering why you were doing that. They're easier to pick up on cleanup too, instead yeah. of trying to pick up one at a time. But oh, hey- let's clean up. That's uh, another problem. Yeah, that's, yeah, we'll get to that later. All right, so now you, by pinching them, you want to keep them in the same spots. This way, they'll slide into the proper things. Sometimes when you're pushing them in, these cables will switch spots on you. Oh. So you think you have it right, yeah. but you really don't. Yeah. So what you'll do is you'll stick that in there. Yep. Now notice, I'm all the way in, right? I'm pushed up all the way at the top. If you look right there, you can actually see my copper right there. Copper's king. Can you see it? Okay. So now I know I'm all the way up, I'm in, and my jacket is past the point there. So that'll hold once I crimp it. So you can take a look, and it's hard to see if you're in the right spot, but you can get an idea if you are with your color code. So with the pass-throughs, they would be sticking out, and then you can just look at the color code to make sure. It's hard to see inside that little cube. So once you think you got it right, you stick it in the crimper, crimp down, pull it out, and you've got yourself an RJ45 head Amazing. that will pass the standards of Bixie. Can we get a round of applause?